What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and this is the Ultra Z News Weekend Update, the only toy news not for reviews, but for all of yous. That's right, my Zillions. This week, we do have a lot of Godzilla news to talk about, so rejoice, Godzilla fans. Uh, it's it's pretty, pretty chunky on that front, uh, and all kinds of different lines sprinkled in there, uh, which is cool. A lot of movie monster series stuff that we're going to lead off with, and just you know, we're going to go from there. But there's a lot of other things as well that's very, very cool. So do stick around uh, throughout. So without any further ado, let's get to the news. So let's kick things off uh, with the Godzilla Store exclusive reveals for this month. Uh, like they always do, we had a Godzilla live stream last night. I actually didn't watch it. I was a little too tired. Uh, but um, we got a lot of cool news out of it, including, as you see here, the Cybot Godzilla 84, uh, which looks really, really cool as a movie monster series figure, no doubt. Then uh, we got a Godzilla a 74. I gotta get me one of these for sure. Uh, still didn't get there uh, last one. What was it? 75? We need that. Then uh, we uh, got flying a Mecha Godzilla, which is very, very unique. Yeah, that's uh, that's gotta be one that I add uh, to my Mecha Godzilla collection. And then one that I'm not gonna get, but I could see why folks would want it. Video a uh, game a uh, color version a uh, bag in. So a good amount was uh, shown, but also during the live stream that didn't go up is Super Godzilla. So do stay tuned for that. Earlier this week, though, we got a movie monster series Burning Godzilla uh, special edition. I think it's called Blazing um, with LED lights to light up your uh, Burning Godzilla from within. It is a P Bandai exclusive, though. So, you know, do look into how uh, you would want to get this. Might be up at BBTS. Uh, so, do stay tuned for that. Moving away from the Movie Monster series, but sticking with a Bandai. Also, uh, during the stream last night, we uh, got a, a gold Godzilla minus one from the godzilla action figure series um the regular version should be dropping this well in october in the u.s so do stay tuned for that but this one is a godzilla store exclusive also earlier this week a brand new bandai vinyl series uh, was introduced this one is called g saurus uh and they are huge figures starting with godzilla minus one it is a p bandai exclusive in japan so do stay tuned. Uh, also, another place to look for uh, P Bandai exclusives is Hobby Genki. They're also in Japan, but they do get them. So check them out. I use them a lot. After seeing it this summer at SDCC, uh, Mecha Gigantron from SH Figure Arts has officially uh, been announced from the Ultraman Rising movie. It comes out in March. And uh, pre-orders open September 27th, so uh, do stay tuned for order info. Check out my Facebook page. I will be posting up uh, the applicable pre-orders. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how much this guy costs, uh, this girl costs. And um, it looks so awesome. It also comes with the Ultra Slash Effect for Ultra Man, and uh, that's pretty awesome. Also from uh, SHF, uh, King is coming from the Tekken line, so I will be curious about that. And also from Tekken, Nina Williams is going up for pre-order. This figure looks really, really nice, honestly. And then all the official picks drop for the SHF Beetlejuice. This is also up for pre-order anywhere you buy figures. Do check out one of my links down below to pre-order yours because it absolutely looks like the coolest and best of all of the Beetlejuice figures that I have personally seen. That's my opinion. I do like figure arts, but at the same time, I really do think it looks pretty fantastic as a fan of the old movie. I almost forgot about this, but in a Bandai's HG line, we are getting a Godzilla X uh, Kong uh, wave with all of your favorite characters from the movie. We talked about Baggin before, but oh my god, X Plus is blowing uh, their Baggin right out of the water because, well, they're blowing Bandai's Baggin out of the water because their Baggin is absolutely insane. It is huge. It is enormous. It's going to be pricey, but it is a, a big boy uh, clocking in at 35 centimeters and it's going to be about 270 bucks. After some rumors and speculations, Ling Jae Hoon has officially announced uh, their a leather a back figure. That's right, their first officially announced kaiju uh, figure. 
uh, with official pics and looks really good. It's gonna have bioluminescence as the LED feature, like the other ones have, uh, uh, you know, LED features. This one is gonna have, and it's the bioluminescence. I really like that idea. So very, very cool. Looking forward to seeing uh, more and checking out the price. In Transformers news, there's a nice uh, Decepticon, a three pack with Starscream and Blitzwing and Astro Train if you uh, are missing any of these guys. While we talked about this last week, here are the nice official picks of the Takara Atomi, Leololus Prime, which is the Monster Hunter X Transformers crossover. I mean, I mean, look, we got a nice Rathalos Transformer Prime here. Why did we not get this for Godzilla? And this is really one of the reasons I'm posting this again is because I'm just in shock. And you know what I'm saying? Like, look what they do for Monster Hunter, but not Godzilla. I mean, the classic Japanese brand. It, it's absolutely shocking. In a Transformers business news, uh, Hasbro is set to open up their first official Transformers store in the UK. That is pretty cool. I am jelly for all my fellow a UK uh, fans, it's going to be in London, so do check it out if you are out uh, in the UK because uh, I am uh, definitely a jelly. Sticking uh, with Transformers, we're moving over to Super 7 in their new deluxe uh, line. Uh, we're getting an Optimus Prime uh, also in that nice VHS box as we saw with Soundwave, which was an Amazon exclusive. This one appears possibly to be a Macy's exclusive, or it's just up already on Macy's.com and in stock. So uh, if you want it, go get it. I might be getting this one, uh, probably not from Macy's.com though, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Also, they're absolutely a stunning, gorgeous, a super cyborg Voltron is finally available through them. It is in stock. Um, uh, all other pre-orders are uh, coming out in uh, October, so uh, not far off on this one. It is one that I did have a pre-order for that I canceled prior. However, uh, you know, it's Voltron. It's one piece that I was really looking forward to, so we'll see how it goes. For more information on uh, upcoming releases and how I'm approaching them, do check out last night's Vlogzilla. And last but not least from Super 7, how about a flocked Cookie Monster reaction figure that is a box uh, lunch exclusive, really nice box. Uh, it is up for ordering right now at box lunches. Sticking with Sesame Street, but moving over to NECA, one of their awesomest reveals during Comic-Con was their Sesame Street line. They look absolutely gorgeous, and Bert and Ernie are up first. Uh, the pre-orders will be going up shortly, so uh, do stay tuned. They do look absolutely incredible. Speaking of incredible, the uh, Sentinel uh, Fighting Armor Punisher looks uh, just that. I'm not sure if we showed this already here, but it came up on my feet again. I just felt like showing it. It is awesome. And after seeing the prototypes a lot, we finally have an official painted look at the James uh, Groman Spiral uh, Studios uh, Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla Disguise uh, version. It looks incredible. Holy cow. The Funko.com exclusive Gigan Pop is up for ordering right now, so do check it out. Creature Bazaar revealed a Mechanicong uh, that they're doing that is officially licensed from Rankin Bass. If ever there was a reason why Toho doesn't uh, do Mechanicongs as toys anymore, that's why Rankin Bass still holds the rights to this uh, design. McFarlane this week revealed a big Shrek figure as well as Dragon, and uh, yeah, these are cool. I don't know, like especially Dragon. That's a that's a really really neat one. In the Papa Parade large size from Attack on Titan, we are getting an Annie a Lion a Lionheart um, Titan, uh, which looks really really nice. But interesting that they're going with the large size series than uh, the regular size series for this. And Omega House showed off the prototype for their artworks, Monsters, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Whoa, that looks incredible. A celebration of the 25th anniversary of both Four Horsemen Studios and BBTS. They are doing a BBTS exclusive, a Stavros the Unwavering, a really, really cool looking a dragon warrior figure. 
In Mondo News, there is a animated series, a Spider-Man in uh, their one six scale coming out. I don't know. It looks a little stiff to me. Uh, but there is also a big vinyl Turtles Mirage uh, Colors set coming uh, to NYCC as an exclusive. You'll be able to get it online as well as at the show itself. And we're going to close things off back with the movie monster series and a huge awesome surprise. The usual yearly movie monster series voting for Godzilla Store exclusives is open to U.S. fans and uh, collectors because, hey, they opened up a Godzilla Store U.S., didn't they? So very, very cool here. Here is the full list. With the choices being 1974 King Caesar Flocked Edition, 1996 Desigadora, 1999 Orga, 1999 Space Godzilla Flying Form, 1998 Eternal Mothra Leo, 1966 Giant Condor, 1957 Mogera, 1991 Dorat, 1956 Rodan and 1975 Mechagodzilla 2 head controller version. Oh my gosh, there is so many good ones here. I have no idea who I'm going to vote for. You guys let us know who you're going to vote for down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content and let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time, peace out peeps. Thank you